How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I am so excited because we are talking about three stocks that I'm going all in on today. And I just bought these. So I know last Friday I talked about how I'm taking a step back, taking a breather. I'm not buying stocks right now because I'm really shoring up some cash. I'm getting some cash ready on the sidelines because we have CPI data coming out. But Yellen went and crashed the market today, talking about how they might have to raise rates in the future. A lot of people are you know, suffering from fear, uncertainty, and doubt right now about the stock market. A lot of people are moving over to altcoins and it's presenting some really nice buying in levels for some of these stocks that I feel very strongly about. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't want to have to buy these, but they're too juicy. They're too good. As my friend Jack Spencer would say, they're too juicy right now. Uh, You know, I I want to go through each of these and this isn't going to be like 15 minutes of each. This is just giving you an update for where they are because they are at very low levels right now for what they're presenting in terms of value. Now, before we get started, I do have really big news for the channel, but I can't give it quite yet. I've been talking with some other people. We have some really big news coming out and just be on the lookout on the channel. If you're not subscribed already, you're going to want to be because you might be seeing some other people that you really like in the space, in the YouTube space. So I'll explain more on that later. Still don't want to give it away or anything like that because everyone else is being kind of quiet. If you guys are in the Patreon, you'll hear about it first. I'll tell you guys first for sure. If you guys want to join that Patreon, you will see what I'm buying and selling a little bit faster, get news like this a little bit faster and all that kind of stuff. Also, there is a link down there to Weeble. If you want to support in another way, you can get some free stocks. It really helps out the channel, and I really do appreciate when you guys sign up for that. Also, there is this merch down there below. Dogecoin's going insane. I just thought it was really fun. It's a really nice sweatshirt, so that is down below if you guys want to check that out, along with a link to BlockFi to get an interest rate on your cryptocurrency and up to $250. Heck, you can go deposit some money, get a 10% interest rate on stablecoin, which doesn't move in price, and then withdraw it after you get your bonus if you want. But here we have to look at these stocks. These are some stocks that I want to add to. And I'm not going to go through all these other ones. If you guys want me to go through some of these other ones and why I want to buy it or add more to it, you can let me know down in the comments. But we're looking at Teladoc, Palantir, and Tattooed Chef today. So let's take a look at Tattooed Chef first. First of all, they just announced that they are acquiring two new companies that are literally going to be adding $200 million, up to $200 million worth of revenue in the next two to three years and create significant value for us as the shareholders. So we have them adding these these companies. The stock price goes up three or 4% yesterday. It was one of the only companies that was really in the green for a significant amount of the day. And now it's back down a couple percent. So we really haven't seen much of a move, but this is literally going to pretty much double their revenue because they're doing 220 million. At least that's what they're expecting earlier this year. Now they're raising it to 235 to 242 million. And this is even without the Karsten facility. And they expect to update guidance when the production begins at that facility in the coming months. So in a couple months, they might be saying, hey, it's going to be more like 260 to 270 million. So we will have positive EBITDA in the range of 2 million to 4 million and gross margin of 20 to 25%. This is great to see them acquiring other companies. This was an all cash transaction. When you think about price to sales ratios and you think about what a good price to sales ratio is, you might think, okay, for a growth company, maybe a good price to sales ratio is three or four. Or maybe it's higher than that. You know, with a value company, it might be less than that. But take a look. They said that they were going to be buying this for $35 million, $35 million in cash, and it's going to add up to $200 million or so in the next two to three years. So we're talking about them buying a company at a price to sales ratio about two or three years out of about one sixth. I mean, think about that. The whole company itself is being valued around 1.4, 1.5 billion or so right now. And they're talking about $200 million worth of revenue. They're pretty much getting that same amount of revenue for $35 million. Sure, it's a couple years out, but that's an insane acquisition. It gets them into a totally different market. I actually just was at my fiance's uh, parents' house and she was talking about how she loves these acai bowls that they have all the time there. And I was thinking, okay, that's cool. I I wonder what that is. I haven't really heard about it too much or I haven't tried it. And they brought some home and it's Tattooed Chef. I could not believe it. I was so excited when I saw that. I was like, are you kidding me? You didn't know that these were Tattooed Chef? And she's like, what? Then I said, oh, I've talked about Tattooed Chef. And I was giving her a hard time about it, but I was so excited uh, that it was Tattooed Chef. And 
from there, we have some other stocks too that we have to talk about, but I did add uh, some more shares of this today. I felt like I had to. It's one of my largest positions, but it's so juicy right now. The next company is Teladoc Health. And really, this one is so interesting because they just had their earnings. They didn't have the guidance that people wanted, that shareholders wanted. So they talked about adding maybe a couple more million people to their platform. And they're at maybe about 50 million users now in the US, I believe. And people really wanted an updated guidance. They wanted higher guidance moving forward. And they were saying, well, we think it's going to be like two to 4% this year. And we've seen massive numbers this last year. But what people don't realize too, while they're selling this off is a lot of their money is actually coming from subscriptions. They're not coming from all user visits and stuff like that. However, even if you don't think about any of that, and even if uh, you know you take that guidance and you're kind of disappointed by it, Look at where they've been and look at where they are now. They've been up to 290. Now they're down about 47%. We have not seen $156 since over a year ago. So I realize that this is 157 uh, up here and we have seen 157 a couple times down here, but it was just at 155, 156. I bought some more. I couldn't help it. I mean, we saw 153 today. We really haven't seen that in a year. And maybe throughout the day on one of these low days, we've seen that. So this is an amazing value. In my mind, it's a $24 billion company. And this is in a much better place than it was a year ago. I mean, we've seen so much growth over the last year. Of course, this is going to be a long-term play on telehealth. You have to take that into consideration. Also, ARK Invest has been picking this thing up like crazy. It's their second biggest holding behind Tesla. And they hold $300 million more of this than the third of their stock, the third largest holding that they have. So they have $1.4 billion in this, a significant amount. I have been buying more of this over the last couple of weeks. And at 155, 157, it's just so juicy. Now, Palantir is the last one on this list. We really haven't seen Palantir down at this level since about late, mid to late November. Now it's in around that $21.50 mark. Really excited about this. They have their earnings coming up here soon. I will probably be covering this and they're expecting to grow revenue pretty significantly over the next couple of years. And I think it's still just a hard business for a lot of people to understand. It's selling off a little bit. It's around that $40 billion market cap, but it's a very high margin business and data is the future. That's what everyone needs. They need data and they need some way to use that data to help increase whatever they're trying to do, whether it's efficiency, sales, safety, there's some use for all your data. And this company is going to help large corporations and governments get there and be able to use that data in the best way possible. So I think this is going to be a company that grows over the next 10, 20 years. And it's never one that I'm like, oh man, should I be selling this right now? All I'm thinking about is, should I be buying more of this? Yes, I should be. How much should I be buying? So I realized that I have said that I was going to hold off on buying, but some of these levels are so low. We're talking about, you know, five, six month lows on Palantir, one year lows on Teladoc. Tattooed Chef talk about how they're basically going to double their revenue from a new acquisition and not moving at all. These stocks have such good news. And if you guys want to get this information a little bit earlier, you can check out the Patreon. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching this and hitting the like button. There is a link down there to uh, Webull too and to BlockFi in case you want interest rate on your cryptocurrency. Of course, be on the lookout for that big news on the channel. And I actually re-record this whole video because I was talking about all these before. And as I was thinking about it, I was just like, oh man, I really have to put some money in these positions. I was talking about how I was going to in the future if we saw it dip a little bit more. And I decided not to be greedy. And I was going to be buying the dip a little bit here today. So I put in some money into each of these. But let me know which ones you are buying down below if you're buying any of these or some other stocks. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.